What's good y'all, it's the Young Avell back at it with another video. So, I'm gonna do something a little different today. I am going to, hold on, this is a little bit too loud. Cause I'm trying to talk to y'all and that's final. Even though it's a good beat, I'm just trying to keep it discreet. I gotta talk. Cool, so. We're gonna do it something a little different today. I am going to show you guys the process of me moving Cora to a bigger tank. So, right now, currently, she's in this 10 gallon tank. <clears throat> Let me see how that looks. Yeah, she's in this 10 gallon tank. That's her uh, warm side, her hot side. The pad is under there. She has like some climbing things. <clears throat> And uh, she's under there, under the moss. But there's no, the only thing is that, and I keep the towels on there for the humidity. <clears throat> there is only the moss there for her side to burrow. So what I, where I'm moving her now is, bam, 25 gallon, cause she's technically uh, a few inches over two feet now. So I'm moving her into this Repti Habit uh, 25 gallon tank i got a larger water bottle i mean uh, a larger water dish for her i got some bamboo things these are typically for uh tree pythons but um you know she likes to climb sometimes so she doesn't mind climbing i got some sheet moss for her to put down i got some foliage and <clears throat> this is what i'm gonna add which is uh eco earth so I got some Eco Earth here, the substrate that I'm gonna put on the cool side. And then for the hot side, I have the rest of this the Cypress Mulch, Forest Floor Cypress Mulch, holds humidity pretty well. So I am going to now move some of the stuff. First, I'm gonna clean this actually. I'm gonna clean this and um, then go about adding the stuff in. So I'll keep you guys along for the process. Clean it out with some of this. Sumed wipeout spray, terrarium cage. All right, finally done cleaning it. So now I'm going to add the heating pad. So first I got to remove it from the old tank. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to add some of the cypress mulch for the hot side. <clears throat> Thank you. 
cool thing about this is that it stays moist, even when it's in the bag. I'll show you guys exactly how much I'm putting in. too much because I want to make sure that the heat pad heat is able to uh, you know not have to go through so many layers likes to hang out on the cool side mostly anyway. What's up guys? So for some reason the uh, other half of that video did not uh, record or something like that. Uh, I don't know what happened to be honest. But what I've decided to do is turn the latter half of this video into a feeding video and you're going to end up seeing how I set up Cora's enclosure anyway. So, and you can see how she's enjoying it because she's in there right now and I actually have to get her. So I ended up putting down the Eco Earth and the, uh, uh, the moss on top of it. And then I have a little log right there. She actually doesn't even go in there. She doesn't leave this. I don't know if you can see her, but she made a little burrow where she peeks her head out right there. Her head is right there, so you'll see her. I'm about to get her, actually. And uh, I put the little, I don't even know what that's called, but I put it right there. And then I have these branches there. I have the temperature gauge, the hydrometer, and the temperature for her cool size right there as well. So this is how I set it up. Now I'm going to open it because... She's about to be transferred into what I call the Thunderdome, and that's uh, where she takes the life of already dead mice. So let's see if I can show you guys where she's actually at. Alright honey, I know you're over here somewhere. There you are. There she is. So she actually hides in the dirt now, which is pretty cool. That's what I want. That's why I laid the dirt down. And, um, yeah, there we go. Hey, sweet pea, say hi to the people. There she is. So let me see. Um, She might be... I'm trying to gauge whether uh, she's ready for a bigger food size than fuzzies. But I think she's still at fuzzy. Yeah, fuzzy will still be good for her. Alright, baby, I need you to... Even though her big side is... Yeah, not fuzzy will still be good. No, 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 don't go back. Look how beautiful she is. This girl doesn't stop moving. I need to close this so she doesn't go back in there. She's like a little puppy dog. So just hang out right there, please, baby girl. Thank you. Have a nice day. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I have a little fuzzy defrosting right there. So now I'm going to set this up so you guys can see the feeding. All right. I think we're pretty much set up. 
Alright, baby girl, time to transfer yourself to the Thunderdome. Whenever she sees the Thunderdome, she already knows what time it is. Look at her little tongue coming out. Say hi to the people, honey, like you always do so well. Hello, everyone. Alright, it's Thunderdome time. <clears throat> You're nice and warm, which is good. Time to get into the Thunderdome. Stay in there. Right, unwrap your gift. is a little little fuzzy here baby look no 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 here you go here you go look no where are you going oh my god here we go Nice baby girl, nice strike. She knows that um, I don't smell like prey. Snakes are not dumb, man. They know who their owners are. They know who their owners are. They know the different scents between Pray and um, you know not pray. So there's the bulge going down. And she's searching basically to see if I'll give her more, which I will not. Did good, baby. You did good. So yeah. She loves her new uh, enclosure now. I will um, like to hang out with her a little bit after she eats, but um, I want to show you guys her going back in. So yeah, let me um, hang out with her before I put her back in because then I won't see her for a couple days, so. All right, she's going back in now. a little bit. All right, baby. Finally gonna go right to her hot side. Yeah, she's gonna go up in there now. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. She's gonna do her thing now. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much how I set up the enclosure. And, um, sorry that the, the video cut out on you guys, or cut out on me as well, but, um, yeah, I'll be showing Cora a lot more, showing her growth and development and stuff, and um, definitely show her some love. Let me know uh, what other kind of videos you guys want me to do. For now, I think this, uh, I'll just do a little bit of redecorating, I think, this year for the most part. So, um, yeah, guys, today's a full moon. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Do something productive today, and also take a load off, because it's been a heck of a June. So... Like I always say, guys, until next time, remember, a greater perspective can lead to a greater connection. Peace.